Oh, I love the Geico commercial on TV where they talk about Wednesday as being hump day. Well, the reason they call it hump day is it's halfway from the beginning, halfway to the end. Often that's a day when our strength kind of wanes. So today we're going to talk about strength. We're going to pray for strength. In Colossians 1, colon uh, 11, it says this, May you be strengthened with all power. Not just a little bit of power. That's usually the way we're strengthened. We, especially spiritual people, if we have a cup, we tend to want to give to others. And we, especially ministers, and they pour it out and pour it out until there's nothing left inside of the cup for themselves. And they're depleted. Well, I pray that you learn to give to your work, to your family, to others from the overflow, not from the last drop. And therefore, you will be strengthened with all power, not just drop by drop power. And then it goes on in the Bible, in Colossians 1, colon 11, it says, according to God's glorious might. Well, strength is freedom from weakness. But it's also stability of character. It is a power to withstand temptation. It is the force or power to do and the, the capacity to accomplish that doing. Strength is an inner quality. It originates in God, and it is expressed in us as mental, emotional, and physical strength. Three different areas, mental strength, strength of mind, and then emotional strength to keep on keeping on inside of us with a drive inside of us, and then the physical strength that... Uh, will carry that through. And it is according to our thinking, our feeling, our speaking, and our acting. When we're steadfast and strong in thought and in deed, we are strengthened with a dynamic strengthening in mind and body. Our faith in God is the source of our strength. The faith in God that we have gives us the power to rise above the limiting thoughts and beliefs that often short-circuit our acceptance of God's good. There is no limitation in spirit. You can do all things through Christ which strengthening you in the moment gives you a tremendous power beyond yourself. The joy of the Lord is your strength. And you are a tower of strength and stability. You are strong in the Lord and in the power of God's might. And now I say this to you as a prayer. And as I say this, I ask you to accept it, to believe it, to take it on like a sponge inside of you. There is no limitation in my spirit. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. The joy of the Lord is my strength, and I am a tower of strength and stability. I am strong in the Lord and in the power of God's might. In Jesus Christ's name, we affirm, we accept, we believe. Amen.